Hello friends, today we are going to talk about forensic accounting and what does it mean for us and how to do it if you are a forensic auditor, what are the tools and techniques available for you to do forensic accounting. First of all, let me start with a case uh, you would have heard of Satyam Computers. All of a sudden in 2008, the company was on the verge of collapse. What happened? A company which was known for corporate governance. If you look at Satyam Computers records, share price was definitely going up between 2004 and 2008. And by the time the news of this scandal came, Satyam was almost a $2 billion company. Such a prestigious name, but suddenly on the verge of collapse. What happened? Years of misreporting in financial statements. The revenues were overstated. Costs were understated. There were lot of bank balances and investments which were shown on the balance sheet which did not exist and margin management whatever margins which were shown in PL account were not correct the share price of this company suddenly collapsed and this was on the verge of shutdown thankfully the shutdown did not happen the company got acquired at the right time the other stigma which also came with this scam was price waterhouse was auditing this company for considerable period of time and in spite of that these issues never came out so that brings us to an important topic, forensic accounting. So forensic accounting helps us in identifying if there is a business fraud which is going on, if there is a tax fraud which is going on, if financials are being misrepresented, if there's money laundering which is happening, funds mismanagement, or if there's an insurance fraud. So what is forensic accounting? Forensic accounting is nothing but set of tools and techniques which basically tries to gather evidence of wrongdoing, financial misrepresentation, fraud by looking at financial statements, by looking at financial information. It may not be accounting, but it uses accounting techniques, principles, knowledge, as well as knowledge of auditing plus investigative skills to come up with set of tools and techniques, ideas, which looks at financial statements to find out if there is any criminal wrongdoing, misrepresentation in the financial statements. If you talk to classical accountants, you will know that there are few clear red flags. If they are there in the financials, then you have to do a much bigger deep dive. The first one is disproportionate increase in sales or sales which is not spread evenly throughout the year sales on the last day, last week of the quarter or year. And then there is a subsequent sales reversal. That means something is wrong. The company may be overstating its sales, which gets uh, reversed in the subsequent month. Similarly, if there are idle bank balances or bank balances not backed up by third party confirmations. That is again a red flag. If the bank balances are not earning the right kind of interest, that also should be looked at in detail. Accounts receivable is one area which has to be like looked at in really, really detail and it has to be backed up by third party confirmations. Similarly, sourcing process wherein there could be two type of issues. One is under reporting of liability. Uh, the intent here would be to show more profits and more margins or overstating of liability. If there is a money siphoning, which is which is happening, if cash is going out, by illegal means out of the company, then AP liabilities would be overstated. Sourcing liabilities would be overstated. Another area of concern would be related party transactions. If there are significant amount of related party transactions, then those transactions have to be thoroughly evaluated. One, for commercial substance. And secondly, if there is any cash flow moment which is happening along with all the related party transactions. Uh, so the PL flow and cash flow has to be matched and then commercial test has to be done to all the related party transactions. What are the tools which are available for forensic auditors? First is the auditor should be very thorough in accounting because unless you are able to link PL, cash flow and balance sheet, it would get very difficult to find out if there is a fraud which is happening or financial statements have been underreported or overreported. So you will have to do a lot of data mining and that would start from bank accounts, that would start from ledgers of the company and then putting all the data together to see if it is making sense. The most important tool for any forensic auditor is third party confirmations. If you are looking at bank account, get a third party confirmation from the banker directly to understand whether there is 
real cash which is there with the company or not if you are looking at accounts receivable if you are looking at sales make sure you get third party confirmation from the customers in especially in case of b2b sales and in case of b2c sales just look at the bank account and make sure you link bank account to whatever sales which have been shown to make sure that sales are being realized similarly lot of it tools are available in the market to do forensic auditing and lastly the most important thing is follow the cash trail which means look at the bank account very very carefully money which is come in money which is gone out pnl balance sheet comes with lot of assumptions lot of policies lot of procedures which are backed up but in case of cash flow statement it has to match with whatever is there in the bank account which is really really solid which means whatever money which has come in the company and whatever money which has gone out of the company and it is very difficult to manipulate so make sure you follow the cash trail you follow the trail which is there in the bank statement in the bank account which is going to really really help you give lot of information that's all i had for today thank you for watching i hope uh, you really like the information in this video please do subscribe this channel and in case you have any comments in case you have any questions feel free to put them in the comment box and i would be happy to answer thank you for watching jai hind